I've been teaching golf for 20 years now. I've taught thousands of golfers. And in all my years, I think the number one flaw I come across is too much rotation with the lower body or too much movement of the backswing. If you want to stop that slice, if you want to hit the ball farther, you need to establish a coil in your backswing. Now when you swing back, you obviously swing your arms up. They swing the golf club, but your body should not swing or sway, or it shouldn't over rotate to try to hit the ball farther. That'll actually get you in a faulty position and prevent a more powerful downswing. If you want to understand the way it works, look at me turning my shoulders into my backswing here. As I turn my shoulders, my hips react, but my back leg stays flexed and resists against the rotation. That is the pressure point of my swing. It's my lever, the leverage point to create some energy in my golf swing. I like to say you almost sit into that knee, keep it flexed so you can spring load your way down, leading with your hips and your lower body. Does that make sense to you? Let me give you a couple of analogies so you'll understand it. First of all, let's look at throwing a frisbee. When we throw a frisbee, let's say we're doing it with our lead arm. We wind up, we turn the shoulders, but we keep the weight inside a flex back leg so we can push off and lead the throw with the lower body. If we're hitting a tennis shot, it's the same thing. If we're playing baseball, it's the same thing. We step and rotate. In all sports, you wind into your back leg to unwind properly. The last little kind of analogy I'll give you is that of springing back an elastic or creating some elastic tension by pulling an elastic back or a slingshot or a bow and an arrow. You create tension by pulling back so you can release and unwind with power. If you want a better golf swing, start looking at your back leg. Use some resistance. We turn the upper body, allow the hips to turn against that back knee and that gives us our pivot post, our leverage point, so we can unwind properly. If you want to play better golf, take a look at that back knee. If you want to understand how the body winds up properly in golf against the back knee, take a look at this little drill. It's very simple. I learned it from David Ledbetter years ago, who used to incidentally say you sit into your back knee to play better golf. And it just works like this. Put your arms across your chest. You don't have to use a golf club. Get in your golf posture and just turn your upper body back nice and level, trying to keep your back knee nice and braced and flexed. So we turn the upper body, we feel the belt buckle turn a little bit, but we're trying to keep this knee flexed and we're trying to keep the weight on the inside of the foot. It's called the cross arms drill. It's very simple to the crisscross drill. We wind up the upper body, we unwind the lower body. We wind up the upper body, we unwind the lower body. That's how you get rid of a slice. And